Really? I never want to play as Roxas again. Yeah, that's that rough. first, like, you're in like a fake dreamland as this garbage character nobody cares mm -hmm. about. Waste of time. Garbage character nobody cares mm -hmm. about. Waste of time. So yeah. So this is Young Master Xenohor playing with Young Master Eriquis, or a little bit about the Lost Masters for those of you that probably don't understand the Kingdom Hearts story like I don't. Oh, okay, okay. She just said, for the people who don't understand the Kingdom Hearts story like, like I don't. And then she goes on to explain. In 2017, they put a video up titled 43 Big Games Coming in 2017. Kingdom Hearts 3 was one of them. And this is at a point where there was no given release date for Kingdom Hearts 3. They got that Remind DLC review out and oh! Jonathan didn't even finish the DLC. After grinding the max level, I've still only managed to beat four of them so far. Their difficulty also feels very out of place. And then he gave it a six. Like, hey, this is your opinion, but how are you scoring a game when you haven't even finished it? This is the tweet. The tweet has since been deleted. We may have just gotten our latest look at Kingdom Hearts form. Kind of. In the form of a social media post celebrating the release of Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. I don't want to be that dude, but this is literally Kingdom Hearts 3. Look at the bottom of the screenshot. Oh, you know I totally wanted to be that dude. <laughs> Obviously know that IGN are not the greatest when it comes to Kingdom Hearts reporting. Uh, we've talked about this a million times. In fact, it was only last month where they ended up misreporting something on believing that the Kingdom Hearts 3 secret movie was a brand new Kingdom Hearts 4 screenshot. Uh, I'm not really in disbelief about this because I think it just kind of comes expected at this point. That being said, at the same time, maybe I am a little bit surprised because this is more so them regurgitating something that someone said that they interviewed and they still can't get that right. Now, obviously, I know that sometimes with, like, translations, because Yoko Shimomura is Japanese, I don't believe she speaks at least fluent English, so there was likely to be a translator there that might be the issue, but two times in one month? This is a new record, IGN. So this little slice right here that came from GDC saying she's currently working on the soundtrack for Kingdom Hearts 4, comma, for which she will only say she's writing a number of songs at the moment. Obviously, everyone took that as, oh, okay, so yeah, you're currently working on a numerous amount of different Kingdom Hearts 4 music. All right. Uh, she can't mention any other projects, but she does describe herself knee-deep in work. This is, this is completely wrong. Brechin, a previous version of this story said that Shimomura was working on several songs for Kingdom Hearts 4. That was a misunderstanding. I hope they mean misunderstanding for the writer and not the reader, because I kind of feel like they're trying to cover their ass here. And this article has been updated to reflect that Shimomura instead meant she's working on various tracks for several different games. Now, I'm deciding to actually keep the original video up on my channel. I have since put some disclaimers saying that the information that is presented isn't correct, but I still feel like the conversation that I have in that video talking about the development status of Kingdom Hearts 4 is still important and relevant to remain. Well, our little confirmation crumb has been taken away, uh, I would say 100% without a doubt, obviously right now, Yoko Shimomura is currently working on the Kingdom Hearts 4 soundtrack. It's just a game, we don't have that confirmation. IGN gave it to us and then quickly took it away. 
good. I still also stand by everything that I mentioned in that video in regards to KH4's development status. I still do believe that we will hear more about the game at some point this year, as well as hopefully receiving a 2025 release, and that the game should be at least in the latest stages, not the final stretch by any means, but at least the latest stages of development. But just speaking about IGN, like, again, I, I can't even believe I'm talking about them two times within the space of, like, 30 days. That's ridiculous. This is literally cursed ground. It is. Like, it it's a straight-up Netflix special stand-up comedy show that they continue to involve themselves in. I also have this, like, itching feeling that at this point, all of this misreporting and their coverage on Kingdom Hearts has to be intentional. Like, it, it's literally gotten to a point where it's like IGN intentionally set up bad reporting on Kingdom Hearts to only laugh at us Kingdom Hearts fans behind the scene to see how we wild out. I don't want to get all, like, conspiracy theorists on this, but, like, there is just no way that they can unknowingly be this bad at reporting. Especially the most well-known journalist outlet on the internet. Anyway, we're going to add that to the Kingdom Hearts IGN slip-up folder. That's another one to add to the meme collection. I gotta say, dude, like, at this point, I am so excited to see Kingdom Hearts Missing Link and KH4 News start to ramp up to see how many juicy IGN memes we can siphon out of it. However, Kingdom Hearts fans, I guess this means we are malnourished for the meantime. But hang in there, fellas. Hopefully something juicy is just around the corner. Okay, guys, that's all for today. Be sure to subscribe to the channel and check out my other social media platforms. As always, massive big thank yous to the patrons. I appreciate the support. I'm Cynical. Hopefully you're having a damn good one, and we'll talk real soon.